Hey people, uh, old and new friends of the channel. Uh, it's been a long time coming, but finally able to get out for a camp tonight. Can't wait. It's only going to be one night up in the local woods um, on a nice ridge that overlooks the whole of Cardiff. Uh, I'm going with my mate Steve from work because we're already bubbled up uh, because of the nature of the work that we do. We've got to work uh, close with each other. Um, so that's fine, so no complaints if you see us too close with each other, but you know, we're literally in the same room all day every day. Um, so yeah, it should be good. The weather outside is nice and sunny for now, as you can sort of see, but there is a bit of cloud up in the sky. It's not supposed to rain, but it is bitterly cold in the night still, even though it's March. Um, yeah, it should be a good one. Gonna bivy it tonight, I'm not gonna bother with the tent. Bivy and tarp uh, job. So yeah, it's uh, gonna make a little fire, do a bit of cooking. Um, and who knows what else we're going to discover on the way. Uh, I just can't wait to get out there. My wife can't wait to get rid of me for a night. Um, I'm itching for it, as I'm sure many, many of you are. Uh, <laughs> I, just, I, I can't wait. Look, I'm happy as a pig in sh So right, I, I've packed all my gear, as you can see on the uh, seat there. It's my new OEX bag, uh, which I previewed before. Um, so it's full. Unfortunately, I've overpacked it because I'm going to do a bit of glamping sort of thing rather than camping. I, I'm not going too far, although I have got a five mile walk to do. Um, I just thought, you know, I'd rather have all my luxuries, everything. I've uh, got a new chair to try out as well, which I'm looking forward to. Um, so, yeah, I've got a separate bag, that little green bag there, that is just going to have, once again, all my beers in it. <laughs> right, all my gear on, all three stone of it. <laughs> Um, now I'm going to do a five mile walk, well I think it's about 4.7 miles, something like that, insert a screenshot now. And yeah, so uh, I probably won't film any of the walk because that is going to be interesting, um, but it's mostly uphill. So next time you see me I'll be up in the woods and ideally at my destination. See you in a bit. Right. Halfway into my walk, done a, well, just over halfway, done about two miles. Just got the place where you might remember from them, uh, a lap past video called The Well. Just film it now. So I got about two, two and a half miles to go up this way through the woods and up over that mountain. And then Steve should be meeting me in about 45 minutes. He's getting driven up there, that bastard. Um, yeah, so should be good. And uh, if anything else comes up, I will film it. But until then, see you in a bit. Around this way, they have a lot of outdoor instructor courses. And uh, I bring the scouts up here as well to have a go up doing shelters, although I haven't been up to that for last year because of coronavirus. And uh, I just came across this one. It's quite big. So I'll show you it now. Let's go and explore this. Oh, she's a big one. TP style. myself because of all the weight I'm carrying but that is cool. I must have taken some of the few hours. Nagra. Sun's just come out. Still walking through the Wenot woods. There's quite a few people around actually. I'll just uh, give you a pan of the woods and show you what I'm currently absorbing. It's beautiful. I'm gonna have to stop and have a beer soon, but I still got a mile to go before I meet Steve, and I got half an hour, which in normal cases you think half an hour to do a mile is fine, but I carry three and a half stone here. Yeah? That's just in my ass. <laughs> Let's have a look. This stunning woods. This sunshine. Beautiful. Unfortunately, it's all uphill for me today. 
downhill tomorrow. That's where it just comes from. And that's your full 360. Now, I gotta carry on all the way up there. Right, I've got enough time before I meet Steve to have a beer. So I come across this lovely little spot. Probably gonna do it justice on the camera. I'm gonna sit on this log here in the sun in the middle of nowhere. No one around. Lovely. Enjoy my beer in peace. First beer of the day. I'm gonna go for, because I got two of them, Brewdog Juice Shack. It's a tropical milkshake IPA. Mango, pineapple, and just pure goodness. So last week uh, I've been, well, watching a lot of new outdoor YouTube channels and they've, a lot of them have been really good actually, um, you know, similar sort of things that we do, um, but all with their own take. Uh, so there's a couple of uh, channels I want to give a uh, mention to because they've been pretty good with us. Um, they're in contact with us, they're giving us a bit of support, showing us the right, you know, where to go and what to do and how to get better ultimately. So. Um, there's two in particular I want to give a shout out to and the uh, first one's Camping Wild with a Dragon he's a nice chap, he's uh, from South Wales and uh, we're gonna hopefully later on in the year when all this is past um, all this you know um, Covid um, do a collaboration with them and hopefully maybe another group from Cardiff uh, called Twin Peaks um, I'm not uh, in communication with them directly myself, but Camping Wild with the Dragon is. Check out his channel, He's, he does a lot of drone footage, he's, um, he does better shots than what we do, uh, definitely. Um, yeah, he's got some interesting little videos to watch. Um, the next group I want to uh, tell you about, uh, which a lot of you probably know, and they deserve a hell of a lot more subscribers than they've got. Uh, don't get me wrong, they've got a shitload more than me. <laughs> I think they're up like 200, mid 200, something like that. Um, I'm still down on uh, 23, but don't get me wrong, loving the progress so far. Um, yes, T and Valhalla, highly recommend their channel. Um, they're a good uh, uh, couple, they, they go out all over the UK, They, you know, whereas I'm a bit limited at the moment to Wales and things. If you want to see a bit more of the UK in general, watch their channel, they've done some brilliant walks. Um, and they film it really well as well, you know. Uh, there's only, um, they told me this themselves, there's only I think in September last year they started uh, talking to the camera so they got a hell of a lot of videos with just music playing and it really works but when you watch them doing their commentary you think they've been doing it for years because they're, they're so natural, they're, they're really good, they know a lot of their history as well, they do their research, let you know the things um, which are relevant, you know, uh, highly recommend their channel. All right, time to go meet Steve. This gorgeous view. A couple of miles out of Cardiff. The camera just doesn't do it justice. The sun's just come out as well. It's been pretty nice. I got about 10 minutes to time meet Steve. Although, no, more like 20 minutes really. I'm doing good for time. Oh, look, hoof fungus. I've been looking for that for a long time. That, if you can break it off or cut it off, it's a uh, It'll hold an ember, dry it out and it'll hold an ember and you can literally carry that all day and it'll keep the ember glowing and then you can have another fire going in the night with that and to relight it, it's honestly it's uh, amazing stuff never used it, just learned that off beer grills as I'm sure we've all learned a few things off uh, ah, look, here him. we go these bushes, a little lesson for those out there let me just zoom, these ones here, they're called gorse bush and the uh, flowers are uh, edible so, never tasted them. But one day, 
Can't be bothered today. Huge blob of a uh, hoof fungus next to her uh, hooves. <laughs> this country. Not my opinion. <laughs> right, so just got to the meeting point there. Uh, Steve, he was a bit early, so he's uh, walked up the path. So I'm just uh, on my way to meet him at the path somewhere. I'll just film a bit of the path. Lots of matches for haze outdoors. Solid seven. Stephen! How the devil are you, sir? I was in the woods over there. Right, uh, don't know if uh, many of you know it, but probably do. Uh, this is the primrose. Uh, once again, it's another edible flower. So, Steve, would you like to try the primrose? Um, no, I'll give that a miss. I'll wait till I get my galaxy bar out. Okay, we'll save that for another video like the gorse bush then. Uh, Steve right. just uh, found more hoof fungus. So that's a good decent sized one there, that'll break off easy enough. But look at that bad boy hidden in there. And it's too long. It goes all the way up the tree. Fantastic wood, isn't it? Oh yeah. Oh, the camera just got stuck in branch. Ah, good find, Steve. Hmm. So we just come from that way. And uh, I'm going to find somewhere suitable for the hammock and my bivy bag and tarp in this woods somewhere. All right. You happy, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> Too happy. I'm really pleasantly surprised by this sun. Mm. Sometimes you just gotta stand and take it in, even when you're carrying a shitload of weight. Yeah. That being said, <laughs> you just go. <laughs> right, so just come across this spot. Haven't decided upon it yet, but it could be where we end up going for the night. Something to build more bagging. That tree is amazing. Now, there's hammock potential over there for you, Steve. Yeah. On the, those three yeah. trees. Got a great camp spot by here actually. So, oh, it'd be a bit better over here, really. Yeah. Because we'll be out well, of sight. Again, you know, well, I think yeah. Yeah. This is a good spot. This is fantastic. Your imagination could go wild there, couldn't it? <laughs> wild. It's like that film Sleepy Hollow, anyway, where yeah. the guy comes out of the tree. Yeah. So, happy with this? Yeah. I'll uh, set the camera up on there and film down, I think. Finished job. Perfect hang that is. I'm chuffed with that. Right, you know what time it is for you then? What? Beer time. Beer time. Yeah. bed. Just simple, a couple of logs holding a load of leaves in place with a, 
my line down here which the tarp's going to hang on above either side. Wind's coming from that direction, so I'll be blocked. I'll have a little fire by here, keep me warm. I'm in my bivvy. So. I was doing it for the video. Oh, finishing my shot. You just literally ruined my ending. Oh. <laughs> right, so here's my setup for the night. I'll show you mine and then I'll go over and show you Steve's. Here's my chair. Beer. Uh, well, if it's out of wood stove, I won't like it with this. I'll put it through the rope with my finger pad. Just a low down tarp, bivy bag, snug pack, my foil mat underneath. You can just see it tucked under there. That's my little. Uh, Thing for me to kneel on when I get in in the night. And the bag's down the side just for a bit of wind protection. Brilliant. Lantern there. Perfect. Here's our setup. There's Steve's. There's mine over there. Steve's just chopping up a little bit of uh, wood ready so he can light up his stove. He built it off Amazon. It's tried and tested. He absolutely loves it. I love it. Never fail. Right. You need to pay 130 quid for the stove. I'm going to collect some wood. Right, so we just seen uh, the sun just came out really nice and it just lit up a nice uh, flat looking plateau over there. So I'm just going to go on and have a bit of an explore just to see if it's a good place to camp another time. Not for tonight, we're already established now, but. Too late. Settled in. God, it does look nice though. Oh, beautiful. Oh, I can easily move mine, mine, Steve. Oh, bad down. Like? Yeah, is the camera right? Yeah. Ah. Oh. You okay? Yeah, just bang my shit a bit. Do you wanna do that? Give me your hand. Bloody nettle. Okay. Yeah, I like anything for content. Good content. Ow! That actually hit <laughs> that Oh! Right. That's nice. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I could have camped down under that there. Uh, Fallen down. Yeah. Thing. What a spot. Where the fuck have you come over here? Ah, <laughs> oh, this is where I'd have. Ah, this would be the good communal spot for the fire. Fire and cheers. Fuck it. Yeah? Let's move. Oh, now I can move on my gear now. Well, look, they've even got chopping knives to get on. What does that uh, Steve uh, thing call it when um, you try and see if your camp's visible from far away? Oh, um, outward spotting he calls it, doesn't he? Man, this is so there's our camp. I don't know if you can see it on the zoom in. This is Steve's tarp. The only thing that's really stood out is the um, orange Sainsbury bag. <laughs> right, just thought we'd do a quick beer review. Uh, Steve, your first beer was? Heineken. Good old Heineken. Good old Heineken. And pretty much most yes. of us will know exactly what uh, that tastes like. Mm, uh, nice. How's it gone down for you, Steve? It's going on very well, actually. It's five percent uh, out of ten. What would you give it? Uh, hang on, sir. I like this. It's 
But mind you, I'm, I'm too easy on these beers, aren't I? <laughs> I get, I'm a bit of a beer tart, aren't I? Yeah. I'd say you're, you're for a bit me, generous. For me, I would say you're going to run out of numbers. Fifteen out of ten. No, I'd, I'd say great eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Right. So I'm, I'm you've only left yourself with two numbers to go. I'm a simple man. Two more beers, and that's I'm it. I'm a simple man with simple needs. Yes, it's five percent, and it tastes all right. Right, would you like to uh, film me and uh, what beer I'm drinking? Mm. Right then. Okay, Geraint, what have you got there, mate? Right, this is a new one for me. Uh, well, I tell you, I had it, uh, one of them yesterday. Okay. But it's Brewdog Lightspeed. Oh, nice. And uh, basically, the selling point for this is it's 95 calories a can. So. I thought you said it's a percent then. It doesn't <laughs> taste like piss, it's actually really nice. Ah. It's a hazy IPA mm. brewed in Berlin, which mm. I didn't. Uh, Realised Brewdog uh, did brew in Berlin. I knew they were in Berlin. They're everywhere, anyway. Anyway, right, let's uh, see what I say. Like out of ten. Yeah. The moment of truth. He pauses. He looks at the cab. That was quite fruity, actually. Mm. It's only four percent, but you can sort. Well, you, you know, sort of taste Foster, that. Foster's kind of. But that's uh, why it's ninety-five calories, I guess, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, out of ten. <clears throat> I don't score the same as Steve, mine, so... Yeah, uh, um, I am cheap. I think for, for, for the brew dogs, for me, this is a six. It's not, it's not uh, their, their best. Mm. But, you know, it's all right. For, I've only, glad I only bought a four pack um, yeah. of these. <laughs> yeah, done. I don't know if you can see it, but the sunset over there just, it looks stunning. So I'll take a little walk away from our camp just to see it from a distance. He's there drinking his uh, second beer. I don't really want to do a review on it, but I will because it's unfair and it'd be Foster's, biased. Foster's, it's lovely. He's drinking Foster's. And uh, what do you rate it out of 10, Steve? Oh, Foster's 10. Is that a serious uh, review? I love Foster's. Is he? Oh, I, I give it nine and a half because Cause is better. All right, <laughs> here you go, nine and a half, Steve. Steve's just making himself a nice chili. Does it nice to be fair? He's uh, I'm just gonna light up my box now and get my food going. All I got is a, I'll show you now, simple. Ah, oh, it's the light gonna get on. Simple pack of Wayfarer pasta bolognese. Mm. But just to back it up, I've also got Heinz Creation Mexican beans. These are lush. He's eating his chili. It's on the knee. It's on the knee. No messing about. Let's see how happy he is on his first bite. I'll give you a little review now. Sainsbury's. Mmm. Mmm. Very nice. <laughs> Ten? <laughs> well. Yeah, just see, I'm talking about. There we go. Hey. Luxada stove is uh, holding up well right. again. Perfectly fine. Right, so we've had our main courses. Now uh, it's time for the uh, dessert. Pineapple rings. But I got some out, chuck them on here to sizzle away. So I'll just I need to set the camera up better. <laughs> oh, you can hold it. <laughs> yeah, you can do it. Yeah, there we are. Look. Ooh, it's like being in Hawaii. You feel the warmth of the, of the night. Oh.
So that's our uh, little camp spot at the moment. My uh, can't see it now because it's dark, but it's uh, hidden over there. My little tent, baby. This is Steve's hammock. This is Steve. <laughs> and this is just our fireboxes. Well, no, not fireboxes, but you know. Yeah, all does the same stuff. And there's all the beers and stuff, so it's not lit up. There you go. Nice bit of fried pineapple. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. <laughs> For some reason, Steve's stove just oh, keeps God, on you gotta, going you out. Me, it? <laughs> Mine is just yeah. still more. He's got manganese in it. Don't be fooled. <laughs> I, I, I think it's because he's had two. Too right, many so Oscars. Uh, My next beer I'm having, Camden Pale Ale. Too many of you have had it. Are you right over there, Steve? I'm doing the jazz background music. All right, fair enough. It's a bit of froth. Right, let's go for it. He said when he dropped the camera into the fire. <laughs> this camera's taking a battery. <laughs> I, I fell down nearly and smacked it on the log. <laughs> yeah, he, he puts it through the toughest tests. Yeah. Camera review part two. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can Chuck I destroy this rock. camera? Still working. <laughs> <laughs> it's covered in all ash now. <laughs> you look good on film though, trust me. <laughs> right then, so, for me personally, uh, it's not as good as the IPAs I've been drinking, but this is an ale. Um, I'm going to say it's better than the Brewdog Light Speed I had, so I'm going to give it 7 out of 10. Happy days. Right. I just drink Fosters. <laughs> and then Steve's still drinking Fosters. And, and more than Mary, to be fair. Terrible. <laughs> Scum. Regret, regretting inviting him now. <laughs> I am kidding, Steve, bless you. <laughs> I just really am looking forward to seeing you climbing into that hammock the way you are. <laughs> if you could, it's I'll gonna... just do two ups and a skip and I'll be in there. I'll be like... Shh. I like the other side. <laughs> Roll, straight, rolling straight down the bank. The bank. <laughs> rolling down Thornhill. You, you'll be at the bus stop just without any of your stuff. <laughs> We're getting the location away again. Jesus, no. Well, to be fair, there's about 500 different pockets of woodland around this area, so if they could find this exact location, good on them. They could get us, anyway, okay. You know, we're probably on uh, sat nav somewhere. <laughs> They've probably heard us giggling and laughing for the last two hours. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Send the helicopters in. Right. <sighs> right, so, uh, burnt all the wood out. Uh, drunk most of the beers. Climbing into bed now. How are you managing getting into your hammock, Steve? How are you managing getting into your hammock? Fine. You in, are you? Yep, I'm in. Nice. You all happy and comfy? Don't know why I'm filming it, you can't really see. It's pitch black. It's freezing cold. I got my lamp on. Right, so. I'll get into bed now. <laughs> so. Tucked up nice there in a bivy. Ready to get some shut eye. Steve's uh, gone nice and quiet, so I think he's already down. It's only about 11 o'clock, but you know, been out since, well, ages. So I'll uh, see you in the morning. I know what it's like. Sleep in the snug pack under the top with a bivy. Right. Ah, oh, morning. Woke up to a lovely mm -hmm. oh, video in. Oh. Up to a lovely morning. It 
was a bit of a cold during the night. I got two or three times, but it wasn't too bad. Oh, time to get out of here. How are you feeling this morning, Steve? Not too bad, actually. Okay. Good night's sleep. Um, first half was great. Then I woke up and uh, I was comfortable, but just couldn't go up again. So you kept the right, didn't you? Yeah, it was a bit cold at times, but it wasn't too bad. I think it did end up getting down to about minus two. Got it, yeah, easy. Oh. Right, just gonna make my morning brew. Right, do this. Homework. Ta da! Eight quid for two. Right, so it's the next morning, just had a coffee. Sorry, I got the sun right in my eyes. Steve's packing up his uh, tent. We find I'm all packed. I'd like to get it done straight away. I'm nine, the other run out of water, so I was going to have a second coffee, but I can't. Good night. Sorry if the content's not great, I don't know. I can't even remember filming half it last night. Locked down here. Hey. What's that bit doing? Anyhow, right. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, share, like if you like it. Pass it on to your friends, your family, your queen, you know. Right, so I just come uh, from that way, um, back the route I came yesterday where I showed you the gorse bushes over by there and now today the road is closed. I don't know if that means just the cars or if there's been you know, a police incident or something. <laughs> so I'm going to have to do it because otherwise I'm going to have miles to go. So let's see. Take your little home, guys. You're gonna carry it five miles. I'm still taking it home. <laughs> 